In this video, I'm going to show you how you can sharpen your photos. We're working from sharpening.psd, which is found within your project files folder, within chapter 12. To sharpen a photo, we need to come up to the Enhance menu. You'll notice down the very bottom we have two options, Unsharp Mask and also Adjust Sharpness. Both of these will give you really good results when you're sharpening your photos. To start with, I'm going to choose Unsharp Mask. One thing you need to be aware of when you're sharpening your photos is that whether or not you're viewing it at actual pixels or 100%. You can see this photo here is currently being viewed at 47.32%. I'm going to press Ctrl Alt 0 to make sure that's being viewed at actual pixels. Now I'll be able to accurately see any sharpening that's taking place. I'll also be able to see that through this little window just here within the Unsharp Mask dialog. We have three main controls when we're sharpening using Unsharp Mask. We have the amount, the radius, and also threshold. If I adjust the amount, what you'll notice is quite severely in the background there, this photo will start being sharpened. You will get to the point though, if you apply too much of an amount, that everything will start looking grainy and really start taking away from the image. So I'm going to back that off just a little bit. Somewhere around 100, 110 is about fine. Now, the radius, what does this do? If I drag this to the right, you can see that this is controlling how harsh the actual sharpening is on the edges. So, I'm going to back that off and make sure that I have no little halo effect appearing around the edges of my subject. Already, this is looking quite good. If I do a before and after preview by clicking on the little checkbox here, you can see that that's now looking a whole lot more sharp. We do have one last control though, which is the threshold. So this is just controlling how many levels within the photo that you're actually affecting with your sharpening. If I back this off just a little bit, you'll find that the sharpening is less severe and only really affects the finer edges within my photo. I'm going to leave that at about 2 for now, and I'm quite happy with that. I'll do one last before and after preview. That's looking pretty good. I'll press OK, and that's now sharpened. If I go up to the Enhance menu once again and choose Adjust Sharpness, what you'll notice is we get a very similar dialog, although it's in a different format. It's more landscape this time. You can see we get the same preview within this little window here. We also get the same controls as far as amount and radius are concerned. We also get the ability to control any blurring that may be happening as far as Gaussian, lens or motion blurs go. I'm going to click out of there for now. I just wanted to point that out as an extra option. I'm going to cancel that for now because I've already sharpened this image and it is looking quite good. I'm happy with that and I'm ready to move on and start color correcting this photo.